My name is Claire Burkett and I'm an acrylic painter. I'm working predominantly with surrealism and how I'm trying to transcend my own reality. I moved into this apartment with my boyfriend about a year ago. He is like my champion through and through, so all the walls are just my storage covered in all of my huge stuff. It's been weird living in a smaller place now because I do like to work really big. I'm painting the world I wanted to live in as a child. I'm painting this dollhouse or this safe space. And now, since I have no room here, they're all over my walls and I'm really truly living inside of it, which I don't know that I love, but it's an experience for sure. I wanna convey this feeling of when you're at the fair and you go in one of those kooky fun houses and the floor is kind of sliding and there's mirrors and smoke and it's dark and then you have to like duck underneath something and then there's like all this air coming at you. You know what you're doing and you know you have to get through, but the way through is disorienting and things jump out. You know, the symbolism I'm using, these things can be interpreted in so many different ways. There's a lot to be uncovered. I really do love Vegas. It's just like this hyper real place that you know it's real life because you're there and you're in it, but everything feels so oversaturated. All the lights are going, you're not really allowed to take pictures and you don't know what time it is. I love it. It's another way for me to kind of transcend the reality, be in this non-place. I moved home over quarantine kind of on accident. It was spring break my senior year at Pratt and I got on the plane with a suitcase for five days and I ended up staying for two and a half months. I was finishing my senior year at home. I was writing my thesis and my high school bedroom, and I was just getting really bored and really sick of what I was working on. So I would go into the garage at my parents' house just to look for things to play with. I found a big box of Barbies, and I found this Fisher-Price dollhouse. It's called the Loving Family Dollhouse. And I was like, oh, dad, I, we got to get this out. And so I brought it into the kitchen. I took a huge inventory of everything. I laid everything out, photographed everything individually. I set it up on like a black backdrop. I put curtains up so it looked like, you know, like a stock photo staging setup. I would set it up every day. I would photograph everything. I would move them around in the space. With the help of my dad, I built a small stage out of wood and I would set up little talk show scenes or, you know, little like hospital scenes. I would take video and I tried to document it as best I could. I've been trying to paint them from memory. My first week at Pratt, I was told, you know, you have to kind of unlearn everything you think you know about being an artist. You have to take yourself seriously, but if you're taking yourself so seriously that you're not experimenting, like, what are you doing? Then you might as well stop because you've already figured it out. What else is there to do? I love the fact that I don't know what I'm doing all the time and I'm still exploring what I'm trying to say because then there's always something to keep working toward. And you can't be afraid to like mess up or just like really have fun. The dollhouse is a great example. Like I really did just play with dolls as like a 23 year old woman. Like <laughs> it was like my family was concerned. They're like, are you doing okay? Do you want to go for a walk? I'm like, no, I'm really just like I'm playing. When I was younger, I never had ideas of, you know, really what I wanted to be when I got older. And I didn't really understand that you could be an artist or you could pursue that in a serious way and, you know, make a living. I didn't know you could go to art school. 
So I really just focused on what would I have wanted to do as a kid if I would have known this was all possible. Now that I can and I am, I just think if she could see this, it would make her so excited. And, you know, she wouldn't even believe that it's real. I just want to be painting till I die. I want people to see what I'm doing and to ask me about it. I just want to have conversations and I want to get it out there. At this stage in my life, I know that it's just going to be a part of what I'm doing and I'm just going to make it work however I can. Thank you.